Hey, hey you. Yeah, hey you. Like the video. Thank you. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Q, back again with another video. But anyways, before we get started, let's just break down the usual. If you guys did not already know, my new website is available, quintinbobbin.com. Go check that out. I have all my drum kits, vocal templates, everything, and my brand new kit called Full Circle, which is a multi-kit. It includes a loop kit, a drum kit, and a one-shot kit, and a bunch of other stuff in between. I'm talking about MIDI, some FL Studio presets, a bunch of other stuff you'll just have to see for yourself. I'll try and show you some of it in the video. But if you go to the website, you can go ahead and check everything that is actually included in there. Anyways, yeah, it took me a long time to do this kit, so I would very, very much appreciate it if you guys bought it. And just let me know your feedback on it. My favorite part of the kit is definitely the drum kit. And by the way, if you are balling on a budget and you can't cop the whole thing, the drum kit, the loop kit, and the one-shot kit are all available separately. The loop kit is called Arcane. The drum kit is called Euphoria. And the one-shot kit is called Deserted. All available at quintababa.com. Also, if you guys want to stay up to date with me, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those are the most used social medias of mine. I post on Instagram all the time. And I tweet out every once in a while. And it's just a good way for you guys to stay up to date with what I'm doing. But without further ado, let's get into the actual topic of today, which is I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a rage beat, kind of like Mr. Rage any like of that new trippy red style kind of like so fuego i know some of the new so fuego beats are kind of considered rage beats but basically what a rage beat is is go listen to mr rage that will give you a perfect example of it um in my opinion it's kind of just a virtual beat that has this really aggressive undertone to it something really popular right now is 808s that are just really loud and distorted so yeah let me show you guys how we will do that all right so the goal of this video is i'm going to use everything from my new multi kit and we're not even going to use a single vst it's going to be everything from my one shot kit so we're going to jump into fl here we're going to turn the bpm up to 172 we go to my kit here full circle and we're going to open that one shot right away and we're just going to try and find a sound here Should really like this one all right so what we're going to do here is go into the piano roll and we're going to go to tools or uh my bad we're going to go to view scale highlighting and set this to c uh actually you know what do f sharp minor and then i'm just going to lay down some chords here and the way i lay down chords is so i set the scale highlighting and basically what you do is you set your bass note at the root this will be your root chord and you always pretty much start your first chord with the root chord, which in this case is F sharp minor. And what you can do is from the root, skip one note in the scale, go to the next one, give another note in the scale, go to the next one, give another note in the scale, which is this D, E, boom, you have a, I believe this is a fifth chord, not really too sure. This would be a triad and then the extra note on top, I believe makes it a fifth, I'm not too sure. Then we have this. Also, when you're using one shots, make sure you adjust the envelope to look like this. This will just make it so the notes only play for as long as the note is actually held. So as soon as it ends right here, the sound will cut off. Actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take that note out and I'm going to go ahead and just go above this F and bring it to G sharp. All right, so yeah, I was just pressing some bass notes in to try and get an idea of what I'm going to try and do with this chord progression. I believe we're going to go to F sharp, down to D, up to A, and to G sharp. I don't like how that progression sounds. So let's see if we can make this sound good. <clears throat> so all I'm going to do is copy this triad over, and like I said, we're going down to D. So we're going to do that and just make sure it's in scale. And I just, all I got to do is bring that F up, and we're going to duplicate that F and bring it up an octave. Try a little interesting bounce right here. And then we're going to copy this triad over again. And like I said, we go from D to A. And we just have to adjust that C sharp. And we're going to bring this up an octave as well, just so we have that higher tone. And we do get this over. And like I said, we're going down to G sharp. And we got to fix this a little bit, bring that C down to a B. And this D sharp to a D. Uh, so this chord looks a little tight, so it's probably not going to sound exactly how I want it right now. No worries, I always adjust that.
Cool, so uh, now what we're forgetting here is just the bass notes. So we're gonna duplicate these down, bring those bass notes in, and boom, this should be the progression. I might, might adjust it later, but I'm liking what we got so far. Perfect, so now we're gonna bring this to the mix track one. And what I'm gonna do here is, in the kit, we actually have, um, where are they? These FL mixer presets, and this one called Melody. I always add this on my melodies. The only thing is I'm not going to cut out all this bass and I'm going to keep some of this high end. In. All right, so I actually ended up cutting the bass out just because the delay was kind of messing with it a little bit, but that's fine. We will just add a bass in right now by going to the one shot kit again. I'm going to go to the bass. We're just going to find a cool one. It might be cool. So we're going to do cut itself. We're going to go to the envelope. Just the hold, and then we will go into this and just copy the bass notes over. Probably have to bring them up an octave. I like that a lot, actually. So I'm just gonna route this out to mix track nine, and I'm gonna add an EQ. There's a little too much high end in there. Cool, so now what we're gonna do here is just try and find some like either plucks or bells and just add like a little counter melody. Like this, so we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go into the envelope settings and adjust the ADR like this. Oh yeah, I like this a lot actually. So now what we're gonna do is it's kind of super dry sounding. So we're gonna route this to mix track two. I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. We're gonna go into my mixer presets here and we're gonna add this melody. Cool, so next thing we're doing, we're gonna go back to the one shots and we're gonna go into the synth part and we're gonna try and find like a cool lead. Like this one a lot obviously what we're gonna do is just adjust the adr again where the holds all the way up and everything's down and let's see if we can find a cool little lead sound got an option y here and what that does is just flip it horizontally let's see if this sounds cool And then all I'm gonna do here is add a Valhalla reverb to it. And basically I'm just gonna bring the slow cut up so it's only high end reverb. All right, and then finally, I think I'm just gonna add this synth called voiced and we're gonna try and do like, almost like a vocal sounding thing right here. If we could get it to sound how I want. Perfect. All right, so that is the melody. So now what we're gonna do is just finish this off by bringing this to mix track four. And we're just gonna turn it up a tad bit and add some reverb. Of course, we're gonna be using Valhalla again. Everything I do here is just turn that low cut up and bring the mix down. I right, this decay down a little bit too. I don't want it ringing out too hard. <laughs> and then this melody is just pretty loud. So we're gonna bring everything down a bit. I actually like using this Kramer tape just as a finishing touch by Waves. And what it does is it kind of adds a vintage feel and just um, compresses it a bit. So it makes it, uh, it makes the actual decibel rating lower, but it doesn't sound like it's quieter. All right, yeah, so that is the melody. So now we're going to do some drums. All right, so all I did here was I just rendered out 
the melody as a wave format. And what we're going to do is just bring this pattern one into here. And we're just going to duplicate it over twice and bring the bass out of or this one right here so it doesn't interrupt with the 808. We're going to make the bass unique. Track that to mix track one. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and get started on that melody. So we're going to go to my drum kit in the multi kit right here, also called Euphoria. And then we're going to start with a clap I'm using this one right here called Step Up. And I have this default clap pattern that you could add, which just speeds up the process a little bit. Next, we're going to go to get a hi-hat. Using this one called Clips, and then we're just going to bring that out knob up a tad bit. And to speed up the process again, we're going to add one of these hi-hat midis. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Just gonna add a little bit more to it. Cool, so I like that a lot. And then what we're gonna do is just route this to the mixer track for right now. I have this preset in there for your hi-hats. And basically what it does is it adds this little effect called reverse and effect tricks. And it just adds a really cool. Cool, yeah, so I like that. And next we're just gonna do an open hat. Start with this one. All right, then pretty much last part is just the 808. So now I'm gonna try and find an 808 pattern and just try and pick an 808 that I actually like. I'm gonna be using this one called Big Spins. We're just gonna go cut itself and then we're just gonna find an 808 pattern. So we already know the key of this. We know it goes F to D up to A and then G sharp. So this makes it a lot easier for us. I'm just gonna turn that velocity up. Cool, so now we're just going to make sure all these sounds are routed to the mixing track. Boom, like that. We're going to bring this 808 to mix track 7. Cool, so yeah, I like this a lot. Um, now, one thing I always recommend you guys do, after you finish the 808, go through your kit and just try out some different 808s just to test it out, because you never know. There might be a better 808 that sounds a little better with the melody and stuff, so let's try that out. Yeah, now I'm stuck between Calabasas and this one. Yeah, that's a wrap. It's definitely the Calabasas one for my kit. So yeah, that is the entire beat. I'll play it for you guys after. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, if you've learned anything, if you enjoyed any part of this video at all, hit that like button for me. It really helps push my videos to other people that want to see videos like this. Also, please make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to hit 10K ASAP because as soon as that happens, I got something special for you guys. Every single sound I used in this video to make the melody and the drums were all from my drum kit, my new multi kit that just dropped called Full Circle. If you're interested at all you already know where to go quintababa.com slash full circle yeah that's all i got for you guys right now i will most definitely see you in the next one peace out